All right, good morning. Welcome to the pre-shred meeting. And this is to get all, get all of our shredders ready and, and be on the same page. And we're just gonna remind you of what the shred is about, what to do, why you're doing that. And we'll go from there. My name is Robin, Certified Nutrition Specialist. And I love doing the shred personally because it helps my body. And then I love helping other people uh, get it together. And this is a, is a real good time to do the shred. All times are good times to do the shred, but it's really good because we know that Thanksgiving is a coming. And to be able to shred before that happens and then turn around and shred after that happens is, is important. So our shred starts on November the 11th, which is Monday, and goes through November 20th, uh, 10 days. So we'll talk about it. The Shred 10 is really designed to help you shred the foods and the habits that are not serving you and focus on flooding your body with whole food nutrition. And it is a jump start because I know and you know that 10 days is not enough, right, to change your whole life, but it's certainly enough to inspire you and get you started and for you to have the opportunity to see what your body does in those 10 days. And we do this every month, the second Monday of every month, because it's just a wonderful way, a protocol to keep the body going. And people hear about the shred and they automatically gravitate to the word shred 10 because they're thinking 10 pounds. And yes, you certainly can release 10 pounds during the shred, but the, the shred, the part, the 10 is really about those 10 days. Your results from the shred vary depending on your level of participation. Average is about, well, it ranges between four pounds to 15 pounds. That's where I see. I've seen, yeah, I've seen someone release 15 pounds during these 10 days. So let's talk about what's really going on in, in our environment and why this is even important. So we are battling literally um, the health and wellness of our, our bodies and our families because of what's going on in the society. So one of the things is that the environment literally is filled with toxins and you, you have to breathe. So in breathing, you are then bombarding your cells and making them have to do more work to keep you healthy. So that's one of the challenges. And then the other challenge is that the food supply is not the food supply that it used to be. So back in the day, 50s, 40s, back in the day, food was fresh, food was whole, food was delivered to us without chemicals. Well, today that's not the case. A tomato does not have the nutrients in it that a tomato used to. So, and there's not a lot of food in our food. And those two things is a perfect storm for all the illnesses and diseases that you see with all the autoimmunes and cancers and just all these things that are going on. And then it becomes, well, what can you do to eat to live? And the shred is one of our tools in order to do that. Because during that 10 days, you are backing out of your body what doesn't necessarily serve you. And then you're flooding your body with what does. And that's very powerful because it is your cells that you need to feed and nourish in order for them to feed and nourish you. So we, were, we are removing the following items and why we're doing that, I'll explain. So gluten, which is the protein found in wheat. So for these 10 days, we're removing breads and pastas and cereals and cakes and cookies and all of those things because of the gluten. And gluten, some of y'all remember that there was a time where gluten-free food was not a thing. And why that is a thing now is because the way that gluten is given to us is not always recognized by our digestive system. Our digestive system is so critical in your overall health and well-being. So when your digestive system is off, then your body is off. By taking out gluten, we're having your body see how it, how it functions without it. You know, it doesn't affect everybody, but it certainly is a problem for so many people that all these gluten-free products have now been created. So we're taking out gluten for these 10 days. We're also taking out dairy. Why? Oftentimes, da dairy becomes an allergen for so many. And I'll say this, I'll tell, this is TMI, but I'll tell you this. It used to affect my gut in such a way 
that I had chronic yeast infections. Well, when I took away the dairy, so went the, 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 the gut or the bacteria that I was experiencing. So, and the bloated. So dairy is your cheese, your milk, your, your butter, yogurt, 10 days. You can do anything for 10 days. Caffeine, oh, 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 when people hear that, they want to not do shred 10 if you're, if you're in love with your coffee. So I would tell you this, sometimes you can get a headache, right, if you just go cold turkey. So we're asking you to eliminate or reduce. If you drink uh, 16 cups of coffee a day, then we're asking you to do eight or do 16 half decaf, half caffeine. Play around with that. Alcohol, self-explanatory, processed foods, that's anything in a package or a a, a yeah a package things that you that are not in its natural form and state sugar whoo sugar is in everything this will pr promote you or inspire you to read labels there's sugar in salad dressing there's sugar in all kinds of things the good news is though however when you're taking the juice plus complete there are natural sugars in there the same sugar you would find in an apple that is there for you to to satisfy that sweet tooth but all other sugars we are staying clear of. So people ask me, well, what about honey? What about agave nectar? And I'll tell you uh, to push back on all of those things. Any sweeteners, except stevia. Stevia is a natural sweetener from a plant, and that's okay. We're also asking you to stop eating by 6.30 or 7 p.m. If you have a question about that, we'll answer at the, at the end, or you can ask your shred leader. What the reason behind that is to stop eating so that your digestive system has a break. You are just, just giving your body some time to be free of food. In taking all of those items out, you're now going to add in three to four days of exercise. And what I'm excited about is going forward soon, we'll have some exercise experts and partners being able to share some workout idea. I'm working on that for you all. So hopefully it'll, it'll be rolling out really soon that we'll have that um, as a part of the shred. But we want you to exercise three to four days a week. Exercise is more than you're doing now. So if you're doing nothing and getting up and walking will, will suffice for you. Uh, enough water so that your urine is clear. That makes it really simple. On the nutrition plan that you have, it's gonna designate the amount of water, but really if you're doing enough so that your urine is clear, then you know that you're doing just quite fine. Your question might be, well, what if I'm taking a vitamin that turns my urine a certain color? And I would say, uh, do you really need that vitamin? But we can talk about that, but there are some medications that you take that will turn your urine a different color and that you need to take that or you've been prescribed to take that. You can continue to drink enough water to flush that out of your system. So you want your urine to be as close to clear uh, throughout the day as you possibly can. Seven to eight hours of sleep, that's what that is. <laughs> and you're going to use one to two juice plus shakes a day. Two is ultimately the recommended amount during the shred, but I know that some of you all play with that, so one to two. And then you're going to add in also your fruits, your vegetables, and your berries as a chewable or a capsule. And I recognize that not everyone has the juice plus fruits, vegetables, and berries. However, that is where your micronutrition really is. And we also know by, we just know this for sure by doing the shred, that the result of the shredders are more profound and pronounced when they are adding the fruits, the vegetables, and the berries. Because again, this is your raw fruits and vegetables, the pits, the peel, and the seeds. And that's giving you what is missing from the nutritional spectrum right now. So how to use your complete. The first meal is recommended as a smoothie. And a smoothie means that you are, um, I think I have to go be the muter police. Let me see. So a smoothie means that you are putting in almond milk, some fruit, maybe you're putting in a nut butter. So here's what's important about this. You want to make sure that you're not overfruiting your smoothie, overfruiting. So people do this. They put in berries and bananas and cherries and all of those things. So sugar is, uh, fruit as lovely as it is still has a form of sugar, especially if you're diabetic and you want to balance your blood sugar. 
So I want to say this. The shred is great for people that are diabetic. The shred is great for people who are pre-diabetic. The shred is for people who don't want to be diabetic. We want all of us. All of us are eating the same way to balance our blood sugar. So if you're doing a smoothie and you're adding more fruit than you need, you're going to throw off some stuff. So my recommendation is as follows. No more than a cup of fruit. However, if you know that you're managing your blood sugar, then stay with a half a cup of fruit. Now, it could be a half a cup of mix this, that, and the other, but you don't want to exceed that. And also, you only want to do one smoothie and the other shake, meaning that you're just using the powder and either water or almond milk or coconut milk or what have you without sugar. That's how you're going to use this, the complete. It should keep you full for at least three hours. If you have a, a challenge where you, you feel like you are hungry faster, make sure you put nut butter in there or avocado, a good fat, because that's going to keep you fuller longer. If you find, for whatever reason, that as you're going through the shred, you, have, you still feel hungry or what have you, I ask you to do two, one of two things. Post in the Facebook group because we'll answer it for you because what I find is the questions that you have are the questions that other people have. So it's very powerful and beneficial when you post so that everyone can get the same information. And then also you reach out to your shred leader. Um, and the shred leader is the person who got you involved in the, in the shred. Ask them and post in the group. And at the end, I'll take questions just to make sure that if we have any. So we said one to two shakes a day. I said, what if I'm hungry between meals? You wanna drink extra water. You wanna make sure that you had a good fat in your, with your meal. Um, if you're not hungry, then, then don't eat. Just drink your water and, and keep going with that. If the complete gives you gas, which it does for some people, here's the deal. During this process, it can give you what's called a detox effect that it's bringing out all this toxins and googly goop out of the body and your body is like, what's going on? You're giving it all this nutrition. Keep going. Don't stop. Okay. you got these 10 days. Unless something horrific is happening to your body that you just can't even manage, but otherwise soldier through it because this is a part of the process. For some of us, true indeed, you might go through a detox process. And I may be able to have um, depending on who's on the line with me, a couple of other shred leaders explain that to you. But just don't stop. Now, how to take your Juice Plus. Um, this is, I just, I'm excited about this because I've been taking Juice Plus for three years. And for some reason, it's like I just realized somebody just shared this with me. The capsules I know are big. Maybe you might forget. Maybe you, whatever the case may be. So a cool, beautiful way to take these capsules is to throw them in your smoothie. So every morning now, I put them right in my smoothie. I don't open them because the capsule is food. The, the, the casing is food. Just throw them in, blend them up. You don't even have to worry about it. It is the easy peasiest way to take these capsules. If you have your chewables, no one has a problem taking the chewables because they taste good and you love them. But those capsules, so that you don't forget, so that you don't feel like they're too big, throw them in your complete, and it is amazing. It's the best thing that has happened to me, and so I wanted to make sure that you all know about that. When you're new to taking Juice Plus, I take half the dosage at first, because it's a lot of fiber, a lot of good nutrients, but if your body isn't used to that, it might start talking to you. So when you first get your supply, take one fruit, one vegetable, one berry for just a couple of days, and then go into two of each. Now, some of you might say, well, I don't have the berries. Why, what are the berries all about? The berries is for inflammation. So the older we get, the more inflammation that wants to creep up in our bodies. When I first started, I just started with the fruits and vegetables, and then I quickly added the berries because I understood the value of the berries. Now, um, I would love, I have no idea who's on here, if, if Dr. Bernetta, if you're available to talk, I'm not sure if you are, if you wouldn't mind sharing what, your, what you found from taking a Juice Plus. You look fabulous, darling. You look fabulous. Oh, thank you, guys. You look like it's summer in November in California. Woo! Yeah, thank God. That's why I'm living. 
So welcome and good morning to everyone. And yes, uh, taking the Juice Plus is just such a blessing for your body. We were talking about all those wonderful uh, micronutrients that you know you're not going to actually get uh, because french fries and ketchup do not count as a veggie. <laughs> so um, I'm a vegan and uh, uh, I was the person who was eating uh, as many vegetables as possible, but my blood work was um, reflecting that I still needed more. And um, I didn't believe it, but I trusted Robin and I, uh, I got uh, the full works. I got the fruits, the vegetables, and the berries. And um, within 30 days, my blood work was uh, changed uh, for the positive, for the good. And so <clears throat> you can expect uh, maybe not such a dramatic, uh, dramatic change, but you can expect within the four months that you use this product that you're going to see a difference in your blood work. And so um, this, that's what you're looking for. In these 10 days, you want to give your body that taste of what it would be like to get everything it needs to get. And I tell people Saturday, day six of the shred is my favorite day ever, every month because by then my body's done what it needs to do. And I wake up super duper happy, super duper, you know, nourished and feeling great. So I always look forward to the shred every month now. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. And um, if there are any other shredder that is willing to, let's see here. I know all of y'all are on mute and I don't want to unmute and un un take anybody's, bring anybody on video that is not wanting to be on video. But if you're willing to hop on, uh, real quick and just share um, you know what else Robin I wanted to say yeah that you were absolutely right about the detoxing piece yes, and I'm so sorry. that could mean several things it could mean you feel tired it could mean you feel bloated and um, I believe you've given the right advice just keep going so um, all of my shredders who started the, the capsules or the gummies first for a week or two and then did the shred. They did much better on the shred. Yeah. Also, all of my um, shredders who did all three, the, the fruits, the vegetables, and the gummies, they are the ones who really got the fullness. And as far as weight loss go, I know Tom, Tammy can talk about it, but I've also seen everything from maybe three pounds, four pounds, all the way up to 15. Um, and so it's a matter of just agreeing with yourself that you know you want to do this, and uh, get a buddy, get a shred buddy, and stick with it. And I promise you're gonna be glad you did. Thank you so much. Um, any other shredder that's willing, I, I know who's here now, so I'll call somebody out my name, but anybody wanna <laughs> hop on before I just call your name? <laughs> just one, one I will. Time. Okay, I, I can share too. Oh, who was that? They could go that first. Denise, but um, go ahead, Tammy, real quick. Well, let, tell us, please. You're like my favorite. I had a dramatic change. <laughs> Hi, congratulations, everybody. Um, I had a dramatic change. My first shred, I lost 15 pounds. I did two two shakes. We did four ounces of water, four ounces of, it was called Ripple. It's the pea protein. Mm -hmm. We didn't do any smoothies or anything fancy that, that first time. My husband lost 11 pounds. And the second shred was eight pounds. And this is my, what, fifth, fifth shred, June, July, August, September, October. Fifth or sixth shred, and I'm down 30 pounds. Um, my body's singing. I'm, I was on 27 medications. Now I'm on two. My husband's mm -hmm. off of five doses of insulin, and he's on oral medication and getting ready to get off of that. I'm not on the chemo pills anymore. My hair grew. My gums aren't inflamed anymore. I don't have psoriasis on my scalp. Had I was dealing with psoriatic arthritis, lupus, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory polyarthritis, inflammatory vasculitis, and I just feel brand new. I enjoy wow. my first summer outdoors because wow. when you have MS, the heat makes you uh, lethargic and fatigue and just really tired. And I was out, I was in the sun at the last Juice Plus uh, Super Salad. They say, Tammy, what are you doing out in the heat? I'm just so happy. I'm outside. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just absolutely thrilled. I'm not going back. Even off the shred, I'm shredding. And we still do the shakes. And we rotate around the household. You order next time, you order next time. My, my daughters, they're young. They, they, they're they shredding. 
and just congratulations. Yes. Love you, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I want um, Denise to hop on, but I just want to say this. I, I am a little, I get, I get this joy and I'm just so grateful to God that I get to see all of you and just, yeah. I, I just get so much energy every single time I hear this. And it always makes me realize and feel like those of you that are shredding and, you're, and, you, and you feel good, you should not keep it to yourself because what if? There are other people out there that are struggling that need what we have. And we, I think each one teach one, we owe it to others to share what, what is happening. Because again, people are really, really struggling. So Denise, um, share with us also uh, what, what your experience has been with the shred. So I've been doing the shred for two and a half years. I've lost 80 pounds. Woohoo! <laughs> So, but I've also done a 360 with my health. Um, I have autoimmune thyroid and I was pre-diabetic at that point. And they were talking gallbladder surgery, talking hysterectomy, all these things were going on. And my doctor was urging me for about a year to go gluten and dairy free. And I just couldn't do it. I was like, I cannot, I kept trying. And I was like, I cannot do this. So when I started looking at the shred, it just made so much sense to do it because I figured, well, I have the products. Let me just try it and see if it works. Oh my gosh, I had blood work. It just happened that I had blood work at the start of my shred, the end of June. And then I went back to the doctors in a couple of months because they were regulating my thyroid medication. I went back in September. She's like, oh my gosh, what did you do? I'm like, what do you mean? Because for that point, I had not been able to lower my A1C or do anything different. I was, I was actively dieting, doing different things to lose weight. She could not believe I dropped my A1C from 6 to 5.6 in just two months of shredding. So she was like, don't stop, keep going. So she was able to take me off the thyroid medication at that point. And then slowly over that next year, I was able to get off my cardiac meds. I was no longer taking my asthma medication, um, which is a huge thing. I um, didn't have to have surgery for my gallbladder. I no longer had to have a hysterectomy because my bleeding all regulated. And Robin, I totally relate with you. <laughs> so <clears throat> when I started Juice Plus years ago, um, you know, I started it with my family. Um, I actually went through detox. It was not pleasant, but it was because I was so, so sick. And I want people to keep that in mind is if you're really sick, you've been on a lot of antibiotics, you're getting frequent colds, you probably may detox a little bit when you go on because your body has to get rid of what's ever being held on, which is why you're getting sick all the time. So I just want to share that. <laughs> Thank you. And Denise, love you, love you too. I, I have a lot of love for a lot of people. And what Denise's story, as you know, is inspiring. And what I love, Denise, so Denise is across the country. I think a lot of us are from the West Coast. And so Denise is on the East Coast. And what's, what's wonderful about the shred, and I'll remind you, we're inspiring healthy living around the country, around the world. There are no borders. You, don't, you can be anywhere and shred. You can get your aunt in Mississippi to shred. You can get your cousin down in Las Vegas to shred. Like right. everybody can get in on what we are doing. And yes. it is whether you have an autoimmune, whether you're pre-diabetic, whether you're diabetic, whether you want to lose weight, whether you don't want to lose weight, the shred is beneficial for everybody's body. And yes. what I want everybody to understand is this is not a miracle situation. It is yeah. fruits and vegetables. It's just that because our body does not get it at a micro, not enough micronutrition, it seems so profound. It's raw, it's real produce. It is not a multivitamin. So the complete is the shake. It has fiber, it has carbs, it has everything. It has your macronutrition. And then the juice plus fruits and vegetables, plant powders, we call them, is not a multivitamin. It is a, the actual fruits and vegetables with the water taken out and turned into a powder. And you do not need a multivitamin at all because you're getting what you need from the real food source. The only supplements that I recommend, and this is me telling you this as a nutritionist, I recommend 
vitamin D3, and I also recommend omegas. Those are the things that I recommend to everybody. We don't talk that much, and we should, about the plant. Actually, Denise posted some really good information about our plant-based omegas, and I hope she'll continue to do that in our Facebook group because they are powerful. I'm going to speed it along because I want to make sure we get off of here on time. Juice Plus uh, has a foundation where they provide Juice Plus free for children as the chewables or the capsules. So if you as an adult have a child, a grandchild, a child in college, and you want to have them to get Juice Plus, get that. Make sure you talk to your Juice Plus um, or your shred leader and make sure you have that. Um, we want to make sure you have your four-week meal plan. I'm putting in a plug created by Necessary Nutrition. If you don't, talk to your shred leader. We want to make sure you have your shred menu guide, digital recipe book. We want to make sure that you're inside of the Facebook accountability group. If you don't know what I'm talking about, ask your shred leader. And then your shred 10 success guide. And most importantly, your personal drive and commitment. Because without that, none of that is going to work. Um, the meal plan that you have, you should have one that sketches out the 10 days and then you should have a more extensive plan that will last you for multiple weeks in between the shreds. But this is what your shred looks like. Meal one is your, your, your smoothie. Meal two, if you want to do a snack, you can do some hummus and veggies. If you want more food, you can do some turkey or some veggies, depending on if you're vegan or vegetarian. I'm going super quick now because I want to Speed it up. Lunch is going to be your second shake. And if you want to do a big salad with that, that's great. Dinner, have more options. Chicken, tofu, turkey, fish, whatever you want to do with some veggies and a half a cup. We're talking half a cup of rice or quinoa. Now, why a half a cup? We're balancing out these carbs. Now, you can just choose not to listen to these recommendations. But if you do, then you will see the greater amount of results. And intermittent fasting, people are asking me a lot about that. So you can take this menu and you can do intermittent fasting. So if you're going to intermittent fast, which means that you're not eating for a certain amount of time and then you are eating in a short window. The most popular form is the 16-8, which means you're not eating for 16 hours and you're eating in an eight-hour window. So let's say you're eating between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. So at 10, you'll start with your smoothie and then let's say at... Two, you're going to do your lunch, which is your next shake and a big salad. And then at six will be your dinner. So you're getting in three meals. You're not eating before, before 10 and you're not eating after six. You're getting three meals in and that's all you're doing and you're drinking your water. That will give you the intermittent fasting protocol. If additional questions come up, please do post in the group and I will make sure that I get those answered. Again, we have our private Facebook accountability group. Some of your shred leaders will connect with you via text. We like to hold each other accountable. Every shred leader has their own personality and how they connect with their shredders. But we like to look for you. We want to make sure you're there, you're doing okay, you're checking in. A lot of we we have a lot of um, look looky lures, right? You, we know you're there. You're just looking at everybody's posts, but we want you to chime in. We want you to share exercise ideas. We want you to share recipes. We want you to ask questions. We want you to cry on our shoulder. We want you to hee on our shoulder. We want to hear you. Your participation is so very, very much encouraged. If you don't have Facebook, connect with your shred leader. They'll work that out for you. Preparation is key. You know you're doing the shred. You know it starts on Monday. You want to throw out the stuff that doesn't belong, the cookies pop, pop, the things that are uh, trying to entice you during the shred. You want to hang in with us and go to the grocery store. You have your menu, pick up what you need, be ready to rock and roll come Monday. Um, we talked about what to expect from the shred, but everybody's body is different. So I can't tell you what will happen, but every time I shred, I look good. <laughs> every time I shred, my stomach goes down. Every time I shred, I mentally feel like I can do anything. So it's a jump start to better health after the 10 days, we'll come back together and we'll talk about what to do next. What happens after the 10 days is exactly what I said. We'll come back together. We will recap what happened. I will make sure that you have the guidance to go after that. And then we're gonna get back on the shred in December uh, before the next round of holidays uh, is upon us. So 
Our wrap up meeting will be on Thursday, November 21st. There will be two times depending on your time zone. So uh, look out for that. And our December shred starts on the 9th of December. And again, get in, get ready, and start thinking about who you're going to bring with you in December because the more that you surround yourself with people in your own personal network, the better you will do, the better that they will do. And I wanna know if you have any questions and we'll answer them for you. I, it is exactly, it's 9.31 and I'm like this crazy time stickler person. <laughs> so um, yeah, if you have any questions, uh, you can chat, type them into the chat or unmute yourself and we will certainly answer those for you. Questions, comments? All right. That means that we were very, very, either you're shy or we were very thorough, which is awesome. And um, I'm going to, at this point, turn off the recording and... Uh